welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my July 2020 TBR. So July for my monthly TBR I like have three books on it because July is really the month of readathons. I am doing two readathons this month and they're basically back to back. I have Musicathon which is the readathon I'm posting that starts on July 8th and goes to the 15th. I'll link my announcement video up in the cards. You guys will see that TBR in the next couple of days. And then right after that is the Reading Rush, which starts on the 20th and runs to the 26th, ho hosted by Ariel and Raylene. I'll link that announcement video up on the cards as well. So those are going to take up a good majority of my time. I haven't set TPRs for those, but again, you guys will see those videos in the coming days. Um, so I wanted to keep my monthly TBR somewhat short. I have two books that I am currently reading as well as my book club's book of the month for July and I also have a TBR dark pick to do. So let me know the line for it, let's jump right in and get started. Like I said, I'm going to just talk about the two books I am currently reading. The first one of those is The Stand by Stephen King. I started this back in May. I am like 20, 20, 30 pages into it. Not very far. It's over a thousand pages long. This is a book that is on my top 10 to read in 2020 list. I will link that video on the cards as well. And I love Stephen King. I'm a huge Stephen King fan. If you guys have been following my channel for the past couple of years, you would know that. And this is a book that I think is pretty timely because it is a dystopian involving a pandemic. And that is, sounds right up my alley. Enjoying it so far. Can't wait to continue on. The book I am currently reading is Slay by Brittany Morrison. This is a book I am buddy reading with a few of my booktube friends. And I will talk more about that in my vlogs. But this is a book that came out last year. It is a YA contemporary sci-fi. It follows our main character who is a game developer for this video game that is kind of like Black Panther. And that's all I know. Nobody knows she's the creator of this game. And she is facing backlash for something that uh, happens to one of the players of this game. That's all I know. I am 20 pages into this one as well. It's pretty short. I'm really, really enjoying it. And again, can't wait to finish this up. And now we have to talk about the chapter by chapter book club book of the month for the month of July. That is the book club I run over on Goodreads. The link is always down below if you guys want to come and join us. And this month you're reading Felix After After by Kaysen Calendar. This is a book that came out in June and I have heard nothing but fantastic things about this. It is a YA contemporary about a main character who is trans and demi and I've heard it compared to Red, White, and Royal Blue, and the premise of it kind of sounds a little bit like uh, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens and Jedi because it does involve um, a character being kind of blackmailed, and that's really all I know. Again, I've heard fantastic early reviews of this. It is own voices for the trans representation. I have another book by Case and Calendar on my TBR for future months. If I enjoyed this one, I might check that out as well. So again, really can't wait to jump into this one and the link to the Goodreads group is down below. And now we have my TBR jar pick. I haven't done one of these in a few months because I have been in like a really weird reading mood. So I'm excited to jump back into this and doing it every single month. I'm not really in the mood for anything in particular. So I'm open to anything. So let's go ahead and shake this up and pick a tile up. I'm shaking it up and let's go ahead and pick one out. And it's going to be this slip right here. Ooh, and this is one I've been meaning to read for a while. And the book that I picked out of my TBR draft for this month is The Poppy War by R.F. Pong. This is a book that I have heard somewhat mixed things about, but more positive than negative. It was on my top 10 to read in 2019 list, which I just never gotten around to finishing, or reading I should say. This is an adult fantasy. It's inspired by Chinese mythology, and it follows our main character who goes to this boarding school to be trained to be a warrior and all of a sudden in the middle of her training there is a war that breaks out. I know this is inspired by real life events which I don't know much about but I'm really excited to dive in. Again I have heard somewhat mixed things but more positive than negative so I hope I lean on the positive side. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe now already. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan on reading in the month of July as I would love to know and as always all my social media links are linked down below for you guys to check out if you'd like to follow me on any of those and i'll be inside i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you soon for another video thanks for watching everybody bye